G'day, Scott here. Today we'll be checking out what's new in our 2.32 Elite firmware release. Like we've spoken about before, the purpose of these firmware updates is to fix any known bugs as well as add additional features and functions to your Elite Series ECU. As you're probably aware, there's two elements to the ECU tuning package. The firmware, which is loaded into the ECU, and the software, which is loaded onto the tuning laptop. In order to update the ECU, you'll first need the latest version of the Haltech ESP software, which can be downloaded off our website or through the ESP Online porthole if you've already got a previous version of the ESP software on your laptop. Once you have the most current software, you can then use the ESP Online portal to access the most current version of firmware for your ECU and update it. This process should take in total five to 10 minutes depending on your download speed. One of the best things about these firmware and software updates is that they're free. That's right, they're free. And here's what you can expect to see in your ECU after you've done this free update. Electronic throttle blip for both sequential and H pattern gearboxes. Rev match like a champion with this feature doing all the work for you. The ECU detects the downshift based on the throttle and brake position, then brings the RPM up to the expected new RPM based on the calibrated gear ratio. The onboard data logging size on the Elite 750 and 950 has been increased from half a meg to one meg, while the dual connector ECUs have been increased from two to eight megabytes. Now, we do recognize that it used to take a long time to download the data logs from the ECU, so we sped that right up, and you can expect to download an eight megabyte data log in about six seconds. The last improvement for the data logging is the increased priority on sample rates, so you can log more channels at more consistent sample rates. We've added a TCA8, an eight channel K-type thermocouple amplifier. This device communicates with the Elite Series ECU via CAN and accepts eight thermocouple inputs, which can then be used to measure and map against the temperature of whatever you want. Uh, exhaust gas temps, engine temps, transmission temps, um, your imagination's the only limitation. The hotly awaited FG Ford Falcon Series 1 update is here for the Barra plug-in ECU. Full vehicle support, including the in-car entertainment system for the FG and FG FPV models. Toyota 86 and Subaru BRZ CAN integration. The Haltech Elite ECU will communicate with the factory dash as well as the power steering, air conditioner requests, steering wheel angle, brake switch, brake pressure, start button if the car's got one, uh, four wheel speed sensors, the check engine light, cruise control enable, the traction control enable, as well as the clutch and reverse switch. This development makes a 2J LS or hopefully Barra swap just that much easier into your 86 or BRZ. And finally, we've added an EGT cylinder shutdown function. You can turn off individual cylinders based on that cylinder's exhaust gas temperature. In a drag racing application, this could be the difference between melting a cylinder down or saving it and limping the car over the finish line. Well, that's what we've been doing this month. See you next update.